It's a stunningly unsporting type of fishing. Forget rod and reel. These researchers have been catching hundreds of Murray cod and trout cod with just nets and a blast of electricity. What these boats do is basically put an electric current through the water and it stuns the fish and we can pick them up then and weigh and measure and put a tag in them. Um, so we were doing that and we do that at a variety of sites right along the river. We also put what's called a pit tag in them and they're like the little electronic tags you put in your cats and your dogs and um, they can be read on, um, on readers that are, are stationed at some of the locks and weirs along the Murray River. The Department of Sustainability and Environment has been electrofishing on the Murray between Lake Hume and Lake Malwala, counting numbers of threatened fish species. They're collecting data on a project to re-snag the river, where fallen trees are pushed into the water to provide new habitat for fish breeding. What we're seeing is we're seeing where the re-snagging is happening. Uh, we're seeing uh, a trend for increasing uh, fish numbers for Murray cod and trout cod. Um, at the moment that's not statistically significant, but we're hoping over time as we collect more years of data that, um, that um, we'll get some, some really significant results, but it's all good so far. The Murray has been progressively de-snagged since European settlement. The trees and logs were moved initially to allow access for paddle steamers. But since 2006, over 4,500 snags have been put back into the river. And it turns out there's no better way to sample fish numbers than with a jolt of electricity. What it is, is it's a, a generator that's put on the, um, a, a boat. And it's, the boat's got two arms that come out the front that act as anodes. And uh, the boat acts as a cathode. And it creates an electric field. And that electric field actually um, draws fish towards it. Um, when they get close enough, um, they get stunned and they just come to the top and we scoop them up. They pretty much come, um, um, as soon as you get them out of the water, they're, they're alive and kicking and ready to go again. Understandably, many locals have found the project quite interesting. We have a lot of anglers uh, come along and ask if they can hire the boat for the weekend. Um, unfortunately, uh, that's not allowed. There's only a few people probably in Australia that uh, have got licences to use these things and hold the permits. So, Because, yeah, it is a pretty efficient way. It, it really is the, the most efficient way of, of doing this sort of sampling. DSC is roughly halfway through the seven-year project, and if fish numbers rebound like they hope, the program may be extended to other rivers around Australia.